Hello everyone and welcome to Elephant as a Spirit Guide. Elephant is actually a really complex totem with a whole lot of information going on and so the same is true for Elephant as a Spirit Guide. So this may be a slightly lengthy list of things uh, for you to be looking for, but hopefully if Elephant has started showing up for you, you'll find the one that makes you go, oh, okay, that's what the universe is trying to tell me. So uh, first and foremost, Elephant has a whole list of six sensory qualities that are associated with it, and what this means is there are a number of ways we're supposed to be listening to our higher selves in order to receive information from the universe. And the first of these has to do with clear audience or um, psychic hearing. Elephants are very clear audience. So a lot of the information that the universe is wanting you to know at this time may be arriving through auditory signals. So you'll want to pay attention to what you're hearing. Is there a particular song you just keep hearing over and over and over again and it's not just because it's being replayed like crazy on the radio? Or are certain sounds really starting to be annoying to you? Or are you noticing them more than before? Or do you wake up in the middle of the night with a particular person calling your name in your head? These are signals that the universe is using to try to get your attention to what would be good for you at this time. Elephants are also clairsentient, which is like psychic sensing of things. And so if you've been feeling very anxious for no apparent reason or um, really kind of off kilter, a little crazy, then you want to look at your environment. Is your environment really disharmonious? Are things out of whack? Do you not feel safe there? Is there a lot of violence in your area? Your body is telling you that um, steps either need to be taken to bring harmony to the situation or that you may need to either take a little vacation or move all together. Clairsentience also has to do with the ability to receive information simply through touching someone. And so if you find that a particular person's handshake or shoulder squeeze or, or something like that really makes you feel kind of creepy, then uh, that is your body telling you this person's energy is not good for you and you want to steer clear of them. Conversely, you know, if this person's hug or handshake just makes you feel so wonderful, then they really are good for you. There's probably something about them that would really benefit you at this time. Lastly, Elephants have the ability to be clear olfactory, uh, which means psychic smelling. It's a very rare talent. As a spirit guide, it means that you really want to be paying attention to what you are smelling because smell may be the cue the universe is giving you as to what is good for you right now. So uh, back to our particular person who gives us the heebie-jeebies. If you meet someone and you smell a really foul odor and can't figure out why and nobody else is smelling it, um, it may be that the universe is trying to get your attention through the sense of smell that this person is maybe a little fishy uh, or the situation in which they are involved uh, stinks. Uh, the universe is saying, hey, listen to your sense of smell. They don't smell good, then they're not good for you. Same thing if they smell like freshly baked cookies. Then uh, if you're a cookie person like I am, that would be an indicator that they are good for you. The smell can also be situational. Uh, certain smells, if you're smelling stuff that's really getting your attention and there's no physical reason for it, then ask yourself what those smells make you think of. Uh, what is the universe trying to tell you? It may be saying that you need to work on an old situation or that the old situation is about to swing back around. So the example I gave in the elephant totem video was uh, embalming fluid. I will often smell embalming fluid for no apparent reason a few days before somebody I know is going to pass away or, or an animal is going to pass away. Uh, other people have reported smelling certain baked goods when there's no apparent reason and it is telling them that maybe they need to do a visit home or they need to make their current environment uh, feel more welcoming. Now elephant has all these wonderful gifts. What it doesn't have is good eyesight. <laughs> so. Uh, for you at this time, if elephant is showing up, then you are being told unequivocally to not trust what you see. Do not trust how things appear. Do not trust how people appear. Do not trust logic and facts. Uh, this is one of those times where you really need to be alert for deception, and the way you are going to know what to do is to listen to your gut, listen to your heart. Uh, if somebody seems too good to be true at this time, they are. Now, uh, elephants move in matriarchal herds. And so there are two key differences here between the female elephant and the male elephant. 
if you are having a male elephant show up for you, then the message is going to be really different than uh, the rest of this video. If you're having a male elephant show up, then you're probably being told that you're afraid of commitment at this time, or you feel somebody's putting too much pressure on you to uh, make a commitment, especially a marriage or a relationship. And uh, male elephants, they don't do commitment. Um, the herds are all female, except for young males who leave between the age of 8 and 15. The males go run off and have lots and lots of relationships with the females. So if you're seeing male elephant as a spirit guide at this time, uh, it's telling you that you need to look at how you perceive uh, relationships for the most part. It may also be telling you that you have some anger issues to work on. If you're seeing female elephant, or just elephant in general, if you can't tell whether or not there's a gender difference, it's probably uh, female elephant, which is again, referred to as elephant as gen in general in this case. Uh, this being the case, then uh, female elephant, uh, the elephant herd, speaks to relationships with the women in our lives, our, our mothers, our sisters, our aunts, uh, cousins, friends. An elephant may be telling you that at this time it is really important for you to seek out female members uh, or uh, men who are engaged in uh, typically more female activities, uh, such as again, traditionally uh, cooking, gardening, uh, artistic endeavors, that sort of thing. But you need a good dose of the feminine in your life, a good girl's night out for uh, some of you frustrated ladies out there. These female herds also reflect the notion of parenthood. Uh, these elephants are consummate parents. They spend all their time caring for their children. So either you yourself are feeling the need to nurture a child, or it's time to get some time away from being mommy or daddy. The elephant may also be telling you that your whole life has become about being a parent and you need to get a little time to yourself before you really, really start to resent having all those children, or even the one. I'm, I know the one itself can be overwhelming. Now, elephants, as I mentioned, are very service-oriented. They're always taking care of each other, and they're young. And so at this time, you may also be uh, being asked to look at the ways you are serving or not serving others. There are few experiences more healing than serving other people, but only when we are serving from a place of love. We almost never find satisfaction serving when we feel like we are forced to do so. So Alfin is asking you, are you serving others out of a place of love? Does it make you feel good to make others happy? If it doesn't, then it is time to either find a different way to serve or to really begin setting some boundaries. Elephants speak a lot about boundaries when it comes to service. Those of us who really feel called to serve others often find ourselves taken advantage of because we want to take care of other people and so somebody will ask more than we can give and we just don't know how to say no. So if that is you at this time, then uh, you're going to want to start looking at what you really feel comfortable giving. Because again, the only truly helpful act of service is one that's done from a place in the heart. Elephants are very emotional. <laughs> so at this time, uh, one of the messages you may be receiving will likely have to do with your emotions. And namely, are you letting them run away with you? Are you making decisions when you're on an emotional high or an emotional low? And uh, are these decisions not very good for you? Elephant would say, feel your emotions. We're supposed to always feel our emotions and, and let them run through us, but hold off making any life-altering decisions until you have come off of those highs or lows. Uh, believe me, it, it will make things much, much easier for you at this time. Uh, elephants also hold grudges. This goes right along with being emotional creatures. When they love, they love with every piece of themselves. When they hate, it consumes them. And so when they feel like they've been betrayed, they do not know how to let go. So Elephant would be saying to you at this time, do you have emotional baggage that's weighing you down? Remember, you can be angry, 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 but the only one who's going to be suffering is you. It's not like the other person is wilting over there because they know that you're unhappy with them. So this is a good time to ask yourself, why are you still holding on to this? How can you heal? How can you forgive? And remember, forgiving doesn't mean you're saying it's okay. Forgiving says that you're done with this issue and you want to be free now. 
Uh, another way in which elephants demonstrate this issue with letting go has to do with um, staying stuck in situations that aren't good for them. Elephant people don't like to take risks. They, they really like the tried and true. And so as a spirit guide, elephant may be saying that your environment is not good for you. Maybe a relationship you're in is not good for you. And it is time to either change things or get out before you wind up hurting yourself. Uh, similarly, uh, elephants, as I mentioned, like tradition. They like uh, rules and structure. And uh, if elephant is showing up, it may be time to reinvent your traditions a little bit. Things are getting a little stale. Your routine is getting a little stale. Uh, remember, traditions only really serve us if we still find meaning in them. And so it may be time to rejuvenate things a little bit. Or if you're feeling particularly disconnected, uh, empty, uh, then this is a good time to start creating some traditions. Uh, when my husband and I moved to Indiana, it's, it's just us out here, and we don't have a very big family anyway, and so all of a sudden, all of our holiday traditions, we couldn't do anymore because there was nobody else with whom to do them, and so we created our own, which has really made things exciting and makes us look forward to the holidays in a way we wouldn't have otherwise. Now, the elephant's tusks, which are one of its most noticeable features, not all elephants have them, but we usually associate the tusks with the elephant, uh, reflect an inability in many cases to uh, grasp what's going on around us. The tusks are actually enlarged incisors, and in humans, incisors represent being able to bite a situation into smaller pieces that we can chew. So it's possible that you're feeling really overwhelmed at this time or really powerless. You feel like you just can't sink your teeth into your life to move forward. So the way around this, first off, is to reconnect with what you want. Start listening to your heart. What do you really want? It isn't about anybody else. It's not about you, and you don't get to be a victim here. This is where you start looking at what you can do. Uh, it does us no good to keep going, somebody else is keeping us stuck, because then we'll just stay stuck forever. And so Elephant would be saying, okay, first off, empower yourself. Break the situation into little bitty pieces. What can you do to get what you want? And be open-minded. Again, elephants don't like to let go. They can be a little closed-minded. So now it's telling you, look, open up. Look at your situation with fresh eyes. See what you can take care of. How can you move forward? forward. Uh, elephants uh, have some really interesting physical aspects to which they speak as spirit guides, and one of them is teeth issues. If you've been having trouble with your teeth, an elephant shows up. This is where it's trying to get your attention. It's trying to say, look, you're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling like a victim. It's time to uh, stop blaming others, stop blaming the situation, and become more proactive, uh, more self-empowered. Elephant also speaks to issues around our nose and sinuses, head colds, things like that. If you have noticed that your nose has been awfully stuffy or you're having allergies like crazy or sinus infections or anything that blocks up your ability to smell anything, then the universe is probably saying that there is something in your environment that really, really stinks and you don't want to pay attention to. And so it's blocking this to keep you from having to worry about paying attention to it. So if you can really take an honest look around at your situation and your life and say, all right, what am I not wanting to see at this time? If you allow yourself to work through it, if you allow yourself to be open, then chances are you'll heal your allergies, you won't get sinus infections anymore, uh, you'll be able to breathe and smell. I had sinus infections on a weekly basis for years. I had allergies. It was awful. And this largely turned out to be the culprit. Um, I was not happy with my situation. I felt trapped. And when I really started to look at what was going on around me, I haven't had those things since. I think I'm the only person in our area I know that doesn't have allergies. Lastly, elephants do something kind of interesting, maybe a little disgusting to some of us when they are happy, and that's that they defecate and urinate when they are delighted. Um, hardly the way we want to greet other people. But as a spirit guide, what this means is if you're having issues with your eliminative or digestive processes, uh, if you're having trouble with bowel movements, bladder issues, then elephant is telling you you need to look at whether or not you're happy. If you are unhappy, then that's probably what's causing your issues. And a lot of you at this point are going, yeah, but everybody's unhappy about something. 
Well, the truth is, yes, we're not all hunky-dory, sunny, smiley, warm and fuzzy all of the time. But when somebody asks us if we are happy with our lives, if we are, we don't really think about those, those moments throughout the day when maybe everything is imperfect. We think about our life as a whole, the quality of it. And we are all meant to enjoy our lives. We are all meant to wake up excited about the day. If you are not waking up excited or if you wake up every single day with, oh my God, this again, and you have the aforementioned issues with digestion or elimination of any kind, then Alphen is saying it is time to change some things up a little bit, to, uh, again, look for what will serve your heart and what will make you happy. Now, I know this is a lot of information. Uh, hopefully it has answered for you uh, what it means if elephant is just showing up for you everywhere and it isn't one of your totems. It's just a guide at this time. If not, please feel free to contact me for more information or to schedule a reading. You can find me at my Facebook page, which is uh, Facebook RavenLightHolisticHealing.com or at my website, which is www.RavenLightHolisticHealing. You can message me through YouTube, Google+, uh, I'm everywhere. And uh, I often run contests to win free readings. So if you stay tuned to my Facebook page or my blog, then uh, you may just wind up with a free hour and uh, you'll speak with me personally. All of you have a wonderful day. Cheers, my darlings.